Mike Skinner moved to the outside to get in front of that outside line. And now Todd Bodine. Bodine. The 30 of Todd Bodine moves up there as well, Adam. You got and the Todd hill. Bodine, you last laps, hill. and let me Let's know when there are it. two laps to go. That's obviously not the case right now. Still four remaining, but Bodine trying to make his move to the outside, and we have trouble on the back straightaway. Problems for the 14 and the 5. Now they all bottle up behind them. The 16's into the wall. For today, today, your championship leader is into the wall. A lot of damage on the back stretch. Oh, and Max Pappas gets into the 5 of Mike Skinner as they're slowing down the back stretch. Wow. Johnny Sauter was trying to get back in line in the middle. It there was some contact made. What happened on turn two was own? Bodine got a bump draft off of turn two that shot him wide off the turn. And then when he tried to get everything, that, that bunched them all up. And then everybody started scrambling for positions after that. A lot of damage to that Geico Toyota as well as the Copart Chevrolet of our point leader, Ron Hornaday. Guys, I would expect they're, they're going to have to red flag this because of we're so close to the end of this race and there's a lot of debris that's going to have to be cleaned up they want to finish under a green flag condition yeah eric amaro is hoping they red flag it because he's got some gas uh he's issues he's, fuel issues he's concerned with take another look this is real time that that's just i mean it's really difficult to assess exactly who to blame that on i mean Skinner was trying to pull over a little bit. Johnny was in there a little bit. They got together, and it caused a big crash. Well, it was just rolling. I didn't see anything, uh, Adam. Uh, I was in line on the bottom as uh, far down as the yellow line that I could go. I, I finally found out what the big one is in, in Talladega and, and not cause it. So uh, it was happen must have happened beside me or something. And uh, I seen him get squirrely, but I was as low as I could go, and there wasn't much to it. To, Durastar International Trucking Engine, Ford F-150, the five. Five got into the right rear corner there, turned me to the right. So uh, that's the way it goes. But there was some good hard racing out there. I know the fans was entertained today on speed, and uh, I'm just glad to be part of it. Remember, they're right tucked down. Watch and the 30 go to the right. Yeah. Right he gets there. sideways now, and Skinner follows him. Johnny's going to try to take that hole up in the middle. Skinner's just trying to get back in line behind the 30, and that's where the initial contact came. And around they go. Numerous trucks involved in this one. You can see eight of them right there. And Max Pappas in the five. You see him. I'm not so sure what happens here. Max Pappas looks like, like he was got, under control. Looks like he got back in the throttle to try to get back around here. There's another view. You see Johnny Wiggling. Then he hits the five truck. That turns the five into the 14 of Rick Crawford. A couple of guys do a nice job. Watch that white truck right behind Johnny Sauter. Stacy Compton and the 25 of Terry Cook who do a great job getting through this exit without any contact. Yeah, Colin Brown also a that, spectacular job in the six truck making it by. You can There's see that, that started it right there. And then it doesn't happen until seconds later. Well, Colin Brown, you, you're right. He did a nice job avoiding an incident. He moved even oh. higher. He was already up against the wall. Here's Rick Crawford. Here's what he felt. Listen in. And, that, and, and, and just think about Rick Crawford, guys. Wide open, going straight down the straightaway. Against okay, so the yellow line. Minding his own business. All of a sudden, he's almost upside down. A wild ride for Crawford. Watch this look right one. here. What, here comes the bump. That's the bump that's going to turn Todd sideways. He moves up. Skinner moves up. Then Skinner tries to move back down. And Johnny has already stuck his nose in there. They make the contact. And watch Max. He's spinning at the beginning of the wreck. And it looked like he's going to get lucky and get through it. I seen them guys get together and seen Todd and st start to move around and I thought we were going to be okay and then it seemed like it took them a while to wreck and once they did wreck I mean there was just nothing we could do I, I hate it that we're getting TV time like this for the TV Chevrolet and SS Greenlight racing but got to thank everybody that came on board to help us get through this year and we've had a real good one and uh, I think we're I think we're in position to get at least a top 10 there we, we'd put ourselves I felt like we needed to be in this, whatever line the six truck was in and uh, we got together with the six over there. Got to apologize to him for that. I seen nothing. The next thing I know, I was beside him. So um, it was uh, sun gets really bad over there that time of day. And I, like I said, just hate it for all the folks at Tiwi and ASI Limited, Spectrum, Max, Onebo. We've uh, I was hoping we'd get a good one.